Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Claudia and today I'm just going to be showing you a very detailed instructional tutorial of how I do a smoky eye. I'm a professional makeup artist and this is the smoky eye that I would do not only on myself for most events, photo shoots, um, anywhere I'm going, but this is also the smoky eye I would do the most on clients or if I have my friends over and we're going on a night out, this is the smoky eye that I would tend to put on them and it's just universally flattering, it's quick and easy to do and I tried in this to really hard to be as instructional as possible so maybe leave some comments as you're watching it let me know if you want anything in more detail and I could film another look like this maybe some more beginner looks if you're interested so the first thing you want to do is get a concealer I'm using the revolution conceal and define and you just want to put this down on your eyelid don't apply too much of it about that amount should be perfect um, if you apply too much, it can make your eyeshadow crease later because it'll stay wet. So just apply a little bit, just enough to cover your whole eyelid. And you can blend this out with your finger or a brush. I prefer to use a brush for this. And just blend it kind of over the whole area that you'll be applying your eyeshadow. Uh, if you struggle with eyeshadow, I would recommend doing this before the rest of your makeup because you can get a little bit of fallout. So maybe start your eyeshadow first if you feel like you're a little bit messy, you need a little more practice and then you can just wipe it with a makeup wipe and put on your base later. Now it should look like that. There shouldn't be any heavy crease in it. You can actually pat it down with your finger if you feel like it's a little bit heavy and it should just cover your whole lid and be sitting nice and even. You don't want any bits to be like patchy. Now for this whole look, I'm gonna be using the Be Perfect Clientele palette. It looks like this. I really recommend this palette actually if you're kind of new to makeup and you need some nice kind of easy shades to work with. There's a lot of browns in this. There's some nice soft cranberries and everything's very beginner friendly. Don't be scared off by the green. Now I'm gonna take this big fluffy Morphe brush and shade Sandy, this nice light brown here. You should take a quite a light shade, kind of similar enough to your bronzer shade if you want this to be a warm look, which is what I'm doing today. And you just want to tap into that, not too much, and tap off the excess. Now bring this in to about here and just start blending it on. You can do windshield wiper motions and you can do circular motions, but you just want to lightly put this all over your crease and this is going to be your transition shade so this is going to help for when you're applying everything later this nice kind of lighter shade is just going to make everything look more blended it's going to help that you don't have to put in as much work to the other shades and it's just really nice to have so now at the outer edge i'm applying it just over the outside of my eye where it's gonna give more of a circular shape to my eye because later on I'm gonna go and I'm gonna put eyeshadow under here. So if you bring it just out slightly past the corner of your eye, then it'll give that kind of rounded effect to the eye instead of stopping here and then having the other eyeshadow come out a bit. So yeah, just really work into blending that. This shouldn't be too hard if your transition shade is light enough. It should be very easy to work it out and if you personally prefer, you can even work it a little bit into your nose contour here. I don't usually do this. I usually just kind of stop about here. Now, this look is going to be all about slowly building up. So now I'm going to take the shade beside it called Dirty Tan. As you can see, it's just a tiny bit darker, but it stays in that same kind of tone. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of that on this like smaller, more tapered Morphe brush. And I'm just gonna go in underneath that. So you're gonna mostly apply this the same. You're just not gonna bring it up as far. Think of it as a gradient, right? You're gonna be, out here is gonna be light and the more in you get, the darker we're gonna get. Now you don't have to be too clean with this. Just put it in your crease. You don't need to put it on your lid. Just put it in your crease and try and blend it into that sandy shade and don't bring it up too high. You wanna keep that same shape, try and keep that circle. And if you have hooded eyes like me, then you need to relax your eyes, don't drop, 
just relax the way that you would be if you were having a normal conversation with someone and you're looking them in the eye hold the mirror straight to your face and look at it because if i'm looking from my mirror down here i can see my whole eyelid but my eyes are hooded so if my eyes are relaxed you can't see as much so definitely take that shape into account and if your eyes are hooded you want to bring it up here to create more of a circle and you just want to try to correct it a little bit because if you apply it by looking down then when you move your eye the shape will be different learning this helped me so much with actually getting my eyeshadow to look good because i was always applying it um, and then i would open my eye and it's gone because i wouldn't apply it up high enough Now, once you have that down, you see, even though it's only a slight shade difference, it's definitely deepened. You wanna take the first brush that you used for that sandy shade. You don't add any extra product to it. You just wanna go around and just blend it out again. I'm doing small circles and a little bit of windshield wiper. You just wanna make sure that there's no place where one shade stops and the other begins. You want them to be very much just worked into each other. Now see, now it just looks like one shade on my eye. There isn't two clear shades, but it just looks very blended and you can't see any harsh lines. Now I'm gonna take this brush. It's more of a flat side, but it's still very soft and like bendable. You don't want a super stiff brush for this. You definitely need to have a brush with soft bristles that you can work it and blend it. And it's not just like a hard brush. If you're looking for like affordable beginner brushes, Morphe usually does really big brush sets that would have all the brushes you need for quite an affordable price. And look out for times like Black Friday or Christmas. They tend to do really good sales on them where you can get a lot of brushes for good value. But I'm just taking shade Brownie. So I'm going in with a darker brown shade now. And that brush, I'm just gonna tap on some of it, tap off the excess again, of course. And now you really wanna start paying attention. I'm gonna go in with the flat side just here. And you wanna start working that into the crease, but this time be a little bit more careful. You definitely don't wanna bring this up anywhere near as high as you brought up the other ones, because this is when we're gonna start actually getting a bit of definition to the eye and getting some shape into it. Whereas these are kind of just more get a soft blend. This one is definitely gonna start taking the shape of the look. So again, just at that outer edge, put it right to the outer edge. Don't bring it out, keep it right on the corner, kind of where your last lash is, is where this should be. And then just try and get a little bit of a circular shape on it. Again, if you have hooded eyes, I recommend not only looking at it relaxed, but look at it from the side, because if your eye hoods in this way, then it might, if you apply it with your eyebrows lifted, then it'll kind of have a dip in it here. So you just want to relax your eye and try and make sure you get that circle shape on it. I just apply this in windshield wiper motions. Um, I don't do circular motions because that would bring it more up and into the transition colors. And we definitely don't want that. We want to keep this in a more concentrated area. So don't add too much. Just keep blending on what you have and only grab more if you start to lose that color. You can bring this in as far as you want to. If you want this to be more of a, um, open lid look then you can only bring this in as far as here but just for the look I want to do today I'm going to bring it in fully almost to the inner corner to right about here okay so once you have it on it should look kind of like that you want to take a little bit of it and just bring it in onto your eyelid a tiny bit don't bring it the whole way in maybe just this far so kind of a third of the way into your eyelid um and just put it on. It doesn't matter too much because we're gonna be cutting out our crease later to clean everything up, but just bring it about that far in. Take that brush you used for the dirty tan shade and just again, windshield wiper motions at the edge of this just to really make sure that you work it in. Don't add any extra product to the brush, just kind of keep buffing it out. Now, if you feel that any parts of it are kind of losing that shape, you can take a tiny bit more 
just barely tap into the product and just redefine it if you feel like you've lost some of it. So I just felt like I'd lost some right here. If you're really new to eyeshadow, you can do this a ton of times. Just keep working with it. I'd recommend actually just practicing your eyeshadow at nighttime, to be honest. That's how I started wearing everything with makeup is I would practice it at night before I took my makeup off so that there's no pressure, I'm not going anywhere. And if it doesn't turn out right, no one sees it. So now I'm gonna take this smaller Morphe brush and shade too much. So this kind of darker brown shade, uh, just take any dark brown. Um, this is when we're gonna start to get it smokier looking. So tap in, tap off excess. Don't get too much of this at once. You definitely will be able to blend this and now just put it right to that outer edge. So once again, keep it right in. Don't bring it out too far just to wear your last lashes. Don't bring it in as far as you brought that brownie shade, but bring it almost to there. So just right here. So don't bring it up too high, but start to get that little bit of shape on it. I would recommend patting this on before you blend it and just get the tiniest amount on your brush. You don't wanna have a lot of this. Now I'm just gonna do the windshield wiper motions and just barely define here. So you just put on the tiniest amount of it and don't bring it in the whole way either. Stop it kind of here. You don't want too much of this to show when your face is relaxed on the top, just a little bit, just to really deepen your lid. So if you look, it looks like this eye is kind of deeper, more defined, just looks better than this eye. Now, once that's done, take the brush you used for brownie and once again, just softly go over the edge. Do not work this one too much. You want to just barely get that edge blended out, but you don't want to move it at all. You want to keep that exactly where you put it. Now, if I come in closer, you can see that it's just kind of the softened edge there and you can still completely see the shape. You just don't want any harsh line. Now I'm gonna take this even smaller Morphe brush and a tiny bit of just black, which is exactly what it says, just a black shade. Now I'm barely tapping this and tapping off the excess. You want the teeniest amount of this on the brush and then just go to your outer eyelid at the bottom and just tap this on. Don't bring this up, don't bring it out, just literally right here. So we're getting closer, maybe you can see better just right here. Okay, so if you can see there, just it's right here. And you just wanna really use that to smoke up the outer edge. Don't bring it anywhere up. So you don't wanna bring that up here at all. You wanna keep it right here. You shouldn't be able to see much of it when your eyes are open. You should really only see it when your eyes are closed. So I'm just blending that out a little bit, barely though. Just literally like that. You don't wanna move it too much. Just make sure that you shouldn't really be able to see where too much ends and just black begins either. You wanna just have it like a dark outer edge. So now you wanna take some of that concealer again and I'm just gonna put it on the back of my hand. You can put it on the back of your hand, you can put it on a palette if you would like to be more sanitary about it, but it's my personal concealer, so I don't care. And I'm gonna take this little flat brush. You want this to be a completely flat brush now and take some of that. Now, this is the part that so many people struggle with is cutting your crease. So I'm gonna go in from the very inner corner of my eye and just draw a line across the bottom of my lid right to where I brought that brownie shade onto my lid. Um, 
and you just draw a line. Now you literally just roll your eyes. It should leave a print. You can see mine there. And this is a really good tip if you have hooded eyes because you'll see my crease looks like it's here, but the print went up to here, which means that if I'm speaking to you, nothing I bring up to here will show, but anything I bring above will. So this can help you find your crease even if you don't have hooded eyes, but if you do have hooded eyes, it's a really good tip because it's much harder because you have to kind of draw out a new crease. And then you just get the concealer and clean up that line. I like to bring it out a little bit here just to expand my eyelid a little bit. Now, if you do what I just did and start talking and fuck it up, you can just go in with the brushes you used at the start and just kind of go over it a little bit and cover it up again. So I'm just going right over where I brought it up there and just fixing it. So that should look okay now. Maybe don't talk while you're doing this bit. <laughs> now, once you feel like that's right, just do the same on the other side. Now, once you feel like that looks okay and it looks even, you want to take a shimmer shade. I'm going to take shade Lux, this lovely one here. If you want this look to be darker, you can go in with a darker shade like bronzy here. I like to go in with a bit of a lighter shade, kind of bright, brighten up my lid a little bit. And you wanna take a flat little brush and you just wanna rub some of that onto the brush and start applying it to your lid where that concealer is. And the best part of having a flat brush is you can just follow that line exactly. Try and keep that shape there. Now, this is me being extra and you definitely don't need to do this bit, but I actually am gonna take a little bit of bronzy today and use that same flat brush and just put a little bit of bronzy right between looks and those darker shades. You just wanna kind of pat it right to the place where they meet. This could help kind of blend them into each other, but I just like having that little bit of extra dimension on the lid. I think it looks really nice. So don't bring it in too far, just keep it kind of right between them. So now you can see the difference between this one and this one. Now, if my light was lower, you can see that more. You could apply these with your finger either, but for where you have that cut crease, I do recommend using a brush, but if your eyeshadow isn't as pigmented, then you can rub on a little bit with your finger and it definitely helps. So I'm just gonna actually use my finger to blend between those shades. So now you take the same shade that you used earlier, bronzy and the same brush, and you just wanna blend between those. I kind of keep the brush flat and just kind of do a line before I start working it in. Now you don't wanna bring this out anywhere. You just wanna kind of keep it where it was before and work it into the shimmers, but you don't wanna interfere with this darkness here and you don't wanna bring this too far onto the lid. So now that that's done, you're finished all of your eyeshadow on the top. I'm just gonna grab that same dirty tan shade that we used earlier and the same brush and I'm just gonna bring that underneath. Now, I start it kind of where my lashes begin here and just put it right under my eye and bring it up. So that's where you wanna get that circle shape and you just wanna kind of match it in. Turn to the side if you need to, just have a look there and bring that around. If you have quite small eyes like me, I naturally have very small eyes and I like to try and make them look more big and open with makeup, you can try bring that down a little bit. I wouldn't recommend bringing it down too far, but just kind of blend it out. Now what you wanna do is just take a small angled brush. You can't really see mine here, it's kind of dirty. And a eyeliner. I use the Inglot 77 Gel Liner. This is the best eyeliner, oh my God. Um, mine's kind of starting to dry up. I probably need to put a dot of gel line in it, but this eyeliner is so waterproof, so long lasting. It doesn't smudge a lot. Like this is it. If you're looking for a gel eyeliner, this is it. I would never use anything else. And you just want to draw a line literally on the top of your eyelid. Now you could wing this if you feel like that suits your eye. I'm personally not the biggest fan 
of a winged eyeliner with a circular look. I think it can look kind of strange that you've got this lovely circle shape and then just a line sticking out of it. So I literally just bring it to the edge of my eyelid. I don't want to make this line too thick, especially if you do have hooded eyes, be aware that if you make the line thick, you don't have a lot of lid space and it will take up all of it. <laughs> now, I'm not sure how well that's translating on camera, but it's literally just a thin black line above both of my lids and it just stops kind of where my lashes do. Now, this isn't to have eyeliner really. Um, this is to help blend in my lash band in a minute. I definitely recommend this for if you're not the best at applying eyelashes because it just kind of disguises the lash band. So even if you don't apply them perfectly, the eyeliner kind of disguises that so you can't see if there's like a little bit of wonkiness in the band and it also just kind of deepens up your lash line can make your lashes look thicker so what i'm doing now is i'm taking my eyelashes these are pennies primark whatever you call it they cost three euro and they come in a little white box and i rewear the fuck out of them all the time so i'm just pulling off yesterday's glue because i wore them yesterday because i'm gross and I always wear the same ones. These are not actually the lashes I want to wear today, but I can't find the lashes I want to wear, so these will do. Any lashes will kind of do, it's whatever. My biggest tip with lashes though is to trim them down because eyelashes are made really big to fit everyone's eye. So if you have smaller eyes like me, then they'll either come right into here or they'll come out way too far. So you definitely need to just literally get scissors and trim from the outer edge of them and they should be cut to fit your eye perfectly. Now I'm gonna take my eyelash glue. I'm using the Duo glue. This is actually a new one to me, the um, Quick Set Duo glue. I haven't used this one before. I usually just use the normal clear Duo glue, but I'm really enjoying this one at the moment, actually. I would really recommend it. The weirdest thing about it is it stays tacky. So after you've put it on the lashes, like even the next day, it still feels tacky, it never fully dries. But that means if your lash band goes slightly out of place, it's so easy to stick it back down because it's still got a little bit of stickiness to it. If you're going on a night out, this is the one. Like if you wanna get drunk because someone who probably won't watch your videos told you that drinking wine is a great idea, then you will wake up the next morning with a headache, but these will still be on your face. So I'm just actually, I'll show you, I'm applying with the back of my tweezers, the glue. You can kind of do this with anything. You can use the back of a makeup brush or one of my friends just puts the glue directly on them, but I'm just taking a little bit of it on the back of my tweezers and rubbing it on. You just want to get an even amount across the whole lash. Try not to get it in the actual lashes. Try keep it on the band because if you get it on the actual lashes, it like, clumps them together and looks really nasty. Now the most important part, leave them there. Give them a minute, put them down, um, put on your eyelash glue and let the glue get tacky. Cause if you're trying to stick on lashes and you've got wet lash glue, it's not gonna stick, it's wet, it's watery, it's gonna move. Whereas if you give them a minute, let the glue start to set and let it start to get sticky and go tacky, then when you put them on, it sticks instantly and they're not gonna fuck around as much. And it doesn't feel as bad because it doesn't feel like wet on your eye. So you're, if you have watery eyes, they won't water as much. But just put on your mascara while you're waiting. I recommend putting on mascara before lashes if you're a cheap fuck like me that wears the same lashes a million times so that you don't get the mascara in your fake lashes. Um, also, I find if they aren't sticking right, then if you put mascara over them, it can kind of lift them and move them. How you apply your mascara with this is not too important because obviously you're covering your lashes, but the one thing you want to make sure is that you blacken all of your lashes because if you have like blonder or lighter eyelashes, mine are actually naturally quite dark, but even if you have makeup on them, then when you put on your lashes, you're gonna be able to see the lighter color of your real lashes coming up underneath. So just make sure they're fully coated in mascara. Now, once that's done, you wanna grab your lashes and literally you want to bend them like this. So you can see my lash band there, I'm bending it. If the lash band is quite stiff, it'll go more straight. So you wanna like 
just loosen it up, bend it, and get a curve to it. So see, that's already curved, so that will sit on my eye much more naturally. You can do this with your fingers. I hate doing it with my fingers, so I'm just taking a random pair of tweezers and kind of holding them like that. And you wanna just put that on, look at it from a lower angle. You wanna be looking down so that you can see what you're doing. And you want this to apply where your natural lashes are. So don't bring it in right into your inner corner. You want it to start right about where your natural lashes do, maybe even a little bit more in, and end where your natural lashes do. So when you're trimming them down, keep that in mind. And when you're gluing them on, that's how you know you're getting the placement right, is they should go exactly where your natural lashes are. If you bring it in too far on the inner corner, not going to stick. Your whole night is ruined. It's moving, your eyes are watering, you're fucked. So literally just place it where you have that eyeliner and now kind of use the tweezers and squeeze it. So that's right about where my natural lash line is. And now you want to take either your fingers or your tweezers and just squeeze it into your natural lashes. Try and blend them in a little bit. You don't want to have a gap between your fake lashes and your real ones. You want to like press them together. So the glue is still a little bit wet, but it should look like that. The band should fit perfectly with that eyeliner and it should look like this. I definitely recommend a clear lash glue actually because a lot of people use black lash glue because it kind of looks good. You can put it in um, if you're not wearing eyeliner. A lot of girls like to skip the eyeliner and use black lash glue to add that bit of depth or whatever but if you're like me you will probably at some point apply it wrong and if you use black lash glue there's gonna be black everywhere and it's gonna be a mess okay so once that's done you could totally keep it like this if you want it to be a little bit more of a daytime look but one thing I really like doing is taking a flat brush this is my friend's brush Avery left it in my house and that black eyeshadow again and this is how I like to line my eyes this is like the best tip ever Go under your lash line and just apply it right along the roots of your lower lashes. So I never apply eyeliner to my waterline because that makes your eyes look really small and beady. You want to apply it here because that makes it look like your waterline is lower and it adds that same like sexy smoky eye effect without like losing some of your eye space and making your eyes look really small and closed in. So right to the roots of your lashes. You can bring this down and smoke it down a little bit if you want to, if you want it to be a little more dramatic. But I personally just like to keep it about there most of the time. Now what I'm gonna do today, which is totally optional and I don't always do it, is take that same Inglot 77 liner and the angled brush again and just connect that up. So it's kind of a ring of liner around your eye. So it comes down here, goes along your tear duct and connects in to where we put that black eyeshadow. I really like doing this actually. I think it makes your eyes just look so good. Now that's what your eyeshadow should look like. Um, we're totally done with the eyeshadow now, but I'm just gonna really quickly throw on a highlight. Now I'm gonna take this small kind of flat brush and I'm gonna take shade Made It from the Be Perfect Sub-Zero palette. And I'm just gonna apply this really carefully under my eyebrow. Don't apply too much of this. Don't go too far down with it because then you'll cut into where you blended that eyeshadow and it'll make your eyeshadow look unblended. But if you just apply a little bit of this, it's so good for lifting your brow and just making it look like you have even more lid space and makes your skin look dewy and it's just it's really gorgeous you just have to be kind of careful with it and then just do your inner corner here so a good inner corner highlight should make your eyes look really open and bright and just bring some life to them and you're done it's kind of just a simple everyday smoky eye this is the look that i would wear if i was to be going on a night out, going to a party, going 
anywhere really thank you so much for watching if you watched this far i really appreciate it please leave a like if you enjoyed leave a comment letting me know what you thought maybe let me know what you'd like to see next from me would people like more beginner focused videos maybe or some more colorful kind of detailed looks i just let me know what you want to see because i'm happy to film anything and yeah, check out my social medias. The links will be in the description if you wanna go follow my Instagram. I always post my look there a few days before and I tend to hop on the stories most days, just kinda talking about if I'm filming, telling when my next videos will be. So that's definitely something you should check out. And I'm gonna link all the products I used in the description, of course, along with a GoFundMe for a young Irish girl that I would really appreciate it if people would check that one out. and give it a read, maybe donate if you can afford it, give it a share if you can't, and help get this girl some help. I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but I link it in my description of every video. Um, if you like my top, actually, you should go check out my Sheen haul video. But yeah, I hope everyone had a good day or night or whenever you're watching this. I hope everyone's day is going good. You're all hydrated and wearing your masks and I'll see you in the next one.